Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video series, I will show you guys how to set up different types of VPN in Microtik. For this video tutorial, I will set up PPTP site-to-site -site VPN in Microtik. PPTP means point-to-point -point tunneling protocol and is operating on TCP port 1723. Without further ado, let's get started. I have here a topology. We have site A and site B. Here in site A, I will configure this Microtik to become a VPN server and in site B, the VPN client. Each sites are connected to the internet and has a different one public IP address. Also, the local IP address is different. Make sure that the one IP address of your PPTP server is static, not dynamic so that it will not be changed because the VPN client will connect to that public IP address. What I want is for the LAN of both sides, site B and site A, to be connected to each other through the tunnel that will be created using the PPTP VPN. Let's now do the configuration. I will access the Microtik device of Site A. I am done doing the basic configuration. So we will just do a quick run through. So in the interface, either one is my one. Then I make a bridge. Both ports 2, 3, and 4 assigned to the bridge. Then the IP address. Well, that bridge is 10.20.20.1. Static public IP of D1 is 192.168.202. I make DNS also in the firewall. Not. Action masquerade. Then in the IP route. I make this static route. Then we will now check if it has an internet. So let's just do ping test in google.com. To do the basic configuration, just, just watch my video in the basic configuration of Microtik. I'll put the link on the description box below. We will now configure the PP PPTP server configuration. Go to PPP, then click PPTP server, then check enabled. Apply, then OK. We will now go next to the profiles. We will use the default encryption profile. So let's check the settings here. So let's double click. General tab, this is the setting. In protocols, this is the setting. Make sure that the use encryption is yes. Then the limits and change the only one into no. Then apply, then okay. We will now go to secrets and create a PPTP user. So click plus and name this one PPTP test then password I'll put password service choose PP, PPTP then profile choose default encryption then in the local address I'll input this one 10.1.1.1 meaning this is the tunnel address of this device then the remote address 10.1.1.2 meaning this is the tunnel address of the other side of the tunnel which is this one then click apply, then OK. So we are now done with the server configuration. So let's access the site B device. I'll connect my other cable to the site B device. Let's connect. 
I'm also done doing the basic configuration here. So let's just do the uh, quick intro. So interface, I have either one as my one, then I, I make a bridge, then in that bridge, ports two and three and four is assigned. Then in the IP address, in the bridge, I assigned 10.20.30.1 slash 24. Then in the either one, static IP of this one. In the client side of your uh, remote side, it is not necessary to have a static IP. Only the the site where the PPT server server, the PTP server is configured that the static public IP is required. Then go to IP DNS, then IP firewall. Then IP route. Let's check if this device has an internet. Let's do a ping test. It's got firm that it has an internet. So we will now configure this device, the PPTP client configuration. Go to PPP, then click plus, then choose PPTP client. Then we'll name this tunnel VPN to site A. Then dial out, connect to, input here the public IP address of the site A. The public IP address of your PPTP server. So in our case, it's 182.168.200.2. So I'll input here 182.168.200.2. Then user, the one that we created recently. Then input here the password. Profile default encryption. Then click apply, then OK. All right, it's connected. The R flag here means running. Therefore, the VPN connection is established and connected successfully. In the status, the remote address is 10.1.1, .1, which is the other side of the tunnel. So we access site B. So the remote side is 10.1.1, .1, which is this one. Then the local address of this tunnel, which is site B, is 10.1.1.2. Let's try to ping this IP address. So we, we are in the site B device. So let's go to new terminal. Ping this IP address. Or just ping this one. You cannot connect yet to the local IP of the other side. Let's just verify. Ping 10.20.20.1. 20 it's unreachable. So in order for the two sites to communicate with each other, the local IP, and this one to communicate each other, we need to configure a static routing. So we are in site B. So we will configure IP then routing, IP routes, then click plus. In the destination address field, input the network address of the LAN of the other site. So in our case, it's 10.20.20.0 slash 24. So we will input here. 10.20.20.0 slash 24. In the gateway, we'll input there the tunnel address of the remote site. So we are in site B. So the remote site is this one. So we'll input here in the gateway 10.1.1. Then just click apply. All right. So the status is reachable and okay. 
We can also configure in the site A, a static routing. So let's access again the site A device. Let's connect. So we will configure static routing. So go to IP then routes. Click plus. Destination address input here. Since we are in site A device, so the remote, the destination address is this one. 10.20.30.0 slash 24. So input here 10.20.30 slash 24. And the gateway is the tunnel address of the remote site. So in our case, we are in site A. The tunnel address of the remote site is 10.1.1.2. 10.1.1.2. Then click apply. The status is, is already reachable. So when we ping, this IP, we can now connect. All right, so we are now connected. I have a computer in this site, which I assigned 10.20.30.10. So let's ping, let's ping that one. All right, so we are now connected successfully. So let's go back to site B and check if we can connect now successfully to this IP. So I'll I'll change the cable to the site B. Site B. Let's do ping. We will ping the IP address of this one. Then the twenty that twenty that one. All right, so we are now connected. We now get our desired result, which which is the the local address of each sites to communicate with each other. This is it, guys, on how to set up PPTP site to site VPN in Microtech. If you find this video helpful, please like share and subscribe to my channel please also hit that notification bell so you can be notified to my new videos bye for now and have a nice day